FN. The Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN Headline News Update. Afternoon, folks. We have the Dow Industrials flat. NASDAQ is up 11. S&P's up one and a half. Gold. Gold contract down $29.60 trading at 11. Uh, trading at 19.89 an ounce. We have silver down 30 cents. $25.29 an ounce. Light sweet crude up 38 cents trading at 77.75. Notes and bonds. 10-year note down six ticks trading 114.14. The 30-year down 15 at 129.27. And king dollar. King dollar. Down 15 ticks, trading 101.825. The euro is at 109. The yen's at 134. And the British pound is at 124 to 1 US dollar. Let's get over and take a look at the S&P. There's been, uh, you know, small trading range out here, but a nice trading range. Been at about 22-point trading range inside the S&Ps. And it's going to get intriguing because what we have out here, you get, uh, of course, Option X at the end of the day. And guess what, folks? You get a high-volume low out here. So... Uh, 4135 is a high volume low. You can see it's sticking out like a sore thumb. You know, we've been up and down in this level. Uh, so my take is that that's right where we're going to run to coming into the close because you're going to have huge amount of options turning over. Bottom line, we'll, we'll, we will have volatility coming into this close. And what it's going to be about, it's going to be about the dollar because what you have here, let's take a look at it. What you have with the dollar, you're going to see the first downdraft of the day. That's when the dollar went higher. Okay, so it's tick for tick out here. Um, dollar versus the S&P. See that big move? That was when the S&Ps went down 14, 15 points. S&P, the dollar goes all the way down. S&P goes all the way up. Now we're on the way back up again. So it's going to be really intriguing. Gold, gold wants lower price. Bottom line, you take a look at the gold contract out here. You, you're going lower and you have an expansion of volume out here. We're going to be in a couple hundred thousand contracts. Right now, you get 199,000 contracts. You're trading out at the 18... 1889, 1989. Uh, bottom line is that, you know, we, we had a nice sign of strength that started out there at 1939. So I suspect somewhere down there, you, you know, it's going to basically get down there. And that's telling me that what we are going to get is that you're going to get a counter trend bounce inside of the dollar. We go to the Qs. Now, the Qs are the strongest out here. That's what's going on also. Yeah, if you take a look at this, actually, let me go look at the, the NQs. They, they are definitely stronger. They're not set up like the S&P, so it's pretty intriguing. Stay right there, folks, and come right back.